Hello, and welcome to Simple Man Sermons, the preachings of a simple man called by God to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. Today's sermon is going to be titled, Who Do You Think You Are? Or, Who Am I? I haven't decided on the title yet. Now, there's a lot of talk in today's society about self-image and self-esteem, and uh, while that's not bad, and there's only one truth, and there might be good stuff in that teaching, we as Christians have the Word of God, the final authority over who we are and what the Bible says that we are. So let's dive into that truth and find out who we really are in God. Where should we start? Well, we probably should start in the beginning. So, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1. Then He creates man, and it says, In the image of God, I created them. Male and female, I created them. So what are you? You are made in the image of God. Now there's a whole lot in that statement that we are made in the image of God. And it's beautiful and it's deep. But I'm just going to scratch the surface of it here. God is strong. God is beautiful. God is powerful. So too are you. You are those things. You are made in His image. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are powerful. No, I had a friend of mine the other day who was a girl, and she sent me a message on uh, probably Facebook or maybe a text, and she said, I don't feel very pretty. She said something to the effect of, I looked in the mirror and I don't feel very pretty today. Now, I don't know how she felt, but I responded with, your feelings aren't reality. You are beautiful. You are made in the image of God. Now, feelings are not reality. You may feel a certain way, but that doesn't change the reality. You may feel like somebody doesn't like you, but in reality, they might like you very much. Or perhaps you don't feel like you're very good at something, but in reality, everybody around you sees and knows the reality that you are very good at something. So your feelings aren't reality. Your feelings are good, your feelings can be wonderful, and they are a gift from God. And enjoy them when you have good feelings. But don't let your feelings dictate your reality. Let truth and reality dictate your feelings. So just to reiterate, you are beautiful. You are strong. You are creative. You are made in the very image and likeness of God. The only creature in all of creation where it says you are made in the very image of God. Now what else does the Bible say that I am? If you're a Christian, the Bible says you are righteous. You are righteous by the blood of Jesus. Romans 3.22 You are righteous by the blood of Jesus. You may not feel righteous, because your works probably aren't righteous. But praise God, your righteousness is not based on your works. It's based on a man, on a God, on Jesus Christ. That's where your righteousness lies. Incorruptible and untouchable. You are righteous. So what else does the Bible say that you are as a Christian? The Bible says you are completely forgiven. Once again, you may not feel like you're completely forgiven. You may not uh, accept it. But the reality is, as a Christian, you are completely forgiven. Romans 8, first verse. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Let me read that again. It's, it's so beautiful. There is therefore now no condemnation. No condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Like the podcast says, I'm a simple man. And the things of God are very simple. They are very simple and very powerful. So simple, in fact, people sometimes can't accept them. Paul in one of his letters says, So as a serpent deceived Eve with his craftiness, so too I fear that you might be deceived from the simplicity that is in the gospel. It's so simple. It's such good news. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Have you ever heard the saying, The truth shall set you free? Well, if you've heard that, and that's all that you've heard, that's a misquote from the Bible. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible does say, 
You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That's found in John 8.32. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The truth can only set you free if you know it. Here's a little example. Let's say I have a bank account somewhere with a million dollars in it. And it's my bank account and it's my money. Somebody put it in there for me. But if I don't have any knowledge of it, if I don't know that truth, that does me no good. Until I discover it, until I know that truth, it can't do anything good for me. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So know these truths, accept these truths. Believe this truth. And I beg you, please, check the scriptures for what I'm saying. Check it. It's all there. If you guys don't know, in the Greek, the New Testament, the Gospel, is called the Good News. Huhan Gelion in the Greek. The Good News. And if that's not good news, that you are made in the image of God, that you are righteous because of somebody else's righteousness, not on your own works, if it's not good news that you are completely forgiven for everything you've ever done, everything you ever will do, simply by being in Christ Jesus, simply because He took your burdens, He took your sin, He was pierced for your iniquities, bruised for your transgressions, He became a curse who who was He became a curse for us that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. That is good news. And that is scripture. And that is who you are. And that is who I am. That's what defines you as a human being. That's what you are. That's what makes you. It's not how much money you make. It's not how much power you have. It's not money. It's not power. It's not respect. It's not your job. It's not your family that defines you. Those are all good things. And if you have those good things, praise God. Enjoy them. Thank God for them. They are a blessing. But that's not what defines you as a person. What defines you as a person is God. He is loving. He is beautiful. He is powerful. That's what you are. Believe it. Speak it. Your words have power. Just like God's words have power. You are made in His image. How does He create reality? He speaks it. Speak the truth. Know the truth. Walk in the truth. Believe what you are. So let me give you one last scripture and drive this home for you. It's going to be 1 John, not the Gospel of John, but 1 John 4.17. If you memorize any scripture, memorize this one. This is a beautiful, short, simple, powerful verse. As he is, so are we in this world. As he is... So are we in this world. The He is Jesus there. It's referring to Jesus. Look it up. Like I said, double check everything I'm telling you. As He is, so am I in this world. As Jesus is right now, so am I in this world. That's my identity. That's who I am. Is Jesus righteous right now? So are you right now in this world. As He is, so are we in this world. Is Jesus holy? Yes. Right now, so are we in this world. Is Jesus valuable? Is he special? Is he loved? So are we in this world, right now, at this present time. As he is, so are we in this world. Now, you may not feel special, you may not feel loved, you may be doing bad things, saying bad things, believing bad things. None of that is who you are. You are holy, you are righteous, you are loved, you are beautiful, you are powerful, you are made in the very image of God. That is who you are. Now, what does God the Father say to Jesus Christ when he goes down to be baptized before the Bible records him doing any miracles? God says to Jesus, You are my beloved Son. In you I am well pleased. Again, as Jesus is, so are we in this world. You are God's beloved. In you he is well pleased. He made you in his own image, by his own hand. God doesn't make junk. He doesn't make mistakes. He made you. He loves you. You are beloved. I'd like to go ahead and read the entirety of that scripture, John, 1 John 4. 17 and 18. 
God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Love has been perfected among us in this, that while we have that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. So let's recap about what God says you are. You are made in his very image and likeness. You are righteous by the blood of Jesus. You are completely forgiven. Believe it. Speak it. Walk it out. Share it. Share the good news. And have a blessed day.